Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's get started with this problem that says determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at pin A and the reaction of the rocker on the beam. So, first, uh, it's always good to draw the free body diagram. So, you know, you have a reaction here. Let's call this reaction F of A. I'm sorry, F of B, since it's at point B. And then at point A, you have two reactions. A vertical reaction let's call it f a in the y and a horizontal which we're going to call f a in the x now you know that this reaction right here has two components an x component and a y component and since this angle is 30 degrees you know that this angle is 60 degrees with this free body diagram, I think we can get started. So, first let's do that in the X. This is the X and this is the Y. In the X, we know that F of A in the X plus F of B in the X is equal to zero, right? So if you look at it, F of B seems to be going to the left so f of a in the x minus f of b times the cosine of 60 is equal to zero and we get our first equation second equation we're going to go for y so in the y we know that f of a in the y plus f of b in the y minus the 4k force at the top, this force is equal to zero. All of this is in newtons, but let me just skip the unit so it doesn't get too, too messy. So this means that f of a, the y, plus f of b, sine of 60, minus 4k, is equal to zero. This is equation two. Now we need one more equation because as you can see we have three variables. We have f of a in the x, f of a in the y, and f of b. Now we have to find the last one we, and we're, for that we're going to do the sum of the moments at b. Why am I going to do the sum of the moments at b? Because f of b is at an odd angle and it's just going to make for a little bit of a more complex calculation. So I just pick this one. So some of the moments at B, assuming counterclockwise is uh, positive, is equal to zero. That means that the 4K force is turning it this way, which is a counterclockwise motion, which means that 4K times two. Then the F of A Y is creating a clockwise motion. So that means it's a minus f of a y and the distance is 8 meters so times 8 and that is equal to 0 so if we solve for f of a y you get that this is equal to 1k now this let's call it equation 3 and we're going to plug it into equation 2 and we get that f of b times sine of 60 minus 3k is equal to 0. This allowed us to solve for f of b, which is equal to 3k over sine of 60. And f of b should be equal to 3.464 kilonewtons. This is also in newtons, by the way. And then you plug this into equation one and you get f of a of x is equal to 3.464 times the cosine of 60 
and you get that this is equal to 1.732 kilonewtons. So let me write here the answer. So for f of a, I got 1.732k in the i direction plus 1k in the j direction. f of b, I have 3.464 kilonewtons going in this direction. If you are interested, this is at an angle of 120 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis. So these are the reactions at the supports at A and B. Final answer.